I applied my heart to know wisdom and to know madness and folly. I perceived that this also was a chasing after wind, for in much wisdom is much grief. And he that increased knowledge increased at sorrow. We've got a problem. I can't anchor him to the memory. Too much psychological trauma. He's rejecting the treatment, retreating. Desmond, I need you to try and relax. Let me try and stabilize him. Focus. Listen to the sound of my voice. Recognize that what you're seeing isn't real. Just a picture of the past. It can't hurt you. Damn it. It's not working. Give it a moment, Mr. He'll adjust. The first time is never easy. We're losing him. That's enough, Miss Stillman. We need to pull him out. Now. All right, Desmond. We're going to try and bring you out now. You okay? <gasps> I told you he'd be fine. Bastards! Now, now, I just saved your life. Saved my life? You kidnapped me. You strapped me into that thing. Animus. It's an animus. I don't even know you people. Why are you doing this to me? You have information we need, Mr. Miles. Information? I'm a bartender, for Christ's sakes. What do you want me to do, teach you how to mix a martini? We know who you are, what you are. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't play coy with me. There isn't time. You're an assassin. And whether you realize it or not, you've got something that my employers want. Locked away in that head of yours. But I'm not an assassin. Not anymore. Yes, your file indicated as much. Something about an escape. Most fortunate for us. What do you want from me? For you to do as you're told. The Animus will allow us to locate what we need. Once we have it, you'll be free to go. I am not going back in there. Then we'll induce a coma and continue our work. When we're done, you'll be left to die. Truth be told, the only reason you're still conscious is because this approach saves us time. You're insane. So what is it, Mr. Miles? Live or die? Lie down. A wise decision. Whoa. Where am I? You're inside the Animus. Which is... It's a projector that renders genetic memories in three dimensions. Genetic memory? Seems you'll need a bit of a tutorial. Very well. We'll start simple. What is a memory, Mr. Miles? It's the recollection of a past event. Specific to the individual remembering the event. Yeah, sure. <laughs> what if I told you that the human body not only housed an individual's memory, but the memories of his ancestors as well? Genetic memory, if you will. Migration, hibernation, reproduction. How do animals know when and where to go? What to do? That's just animal instinct. Now you're arguing semantics, Mr. Miles. Whatever you call it, the fact remains. These creatures hold knowledge absent the requisite first-hand experience. I've spent the past 30 years trying to understand why. I discovered something most fascinating. Our DNA functions as an archive. It contains not only genetic instructions passed down from previous generations, but memories as well. The memories of our ancestors. And the Animus lets you decode and read these DNA files. Precisely. But there's a problem. This is the specific memory we're trying to access. Unfortunately, when we try and open the memory, your mind withdraws. You lack the confidence to step into your ancestor's body. That's what happened earlier. 
You got knocked out of the target memory and pushed back to a more stable state. Why? It's your subconscious. It's resisting. We found similar reactions among patients who undergo hypnosis to relive traumatic events. They can't jump directly into the specific memory. They need to be eased in. Even then, there can be problems. So how do we fix it? We find a memory you can synchronize with, and we move forward from there. You'll get used to it. This is the closest we can get, so it's where we'll have to start. I'm uploading the tutorial program now. Wait! There must be another way. This one need not die. An excellent kill. Fortune favors your blade. Not fortune, skill. Watch a while longer and you might learn something. Indeed. He'll teach you how to disregard everything the Masters taught us. And how would you have done it? I would not have drawn attention to us. I would not have taken the life of an innocent. What I would have done is follow the creed. Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. Understand these words. It matters not how we complete our task. Only that it's done. But this is not the way of- My way is better. I will scout ahead. Try not to dishonor us further. What is our mission? My brother would say nothing to me. Only that I should be honored to have been invited. The Master believes the Templars have found something beneath the Temple Mount. Treasure? I do not know. All that matters is the Master considers it important. Else he would not have asked me to retrieve it. this gate before sunrise. The sooner we possess it, the sooner we can turn our attention to those jackals at Masiaf. Robert de Sable, his life is mine. No. We were asked to retrieve the treasure and deal with Robert only if necessary. He stands between us and it. I'd say it's necessary. Discretion, Altair! You mean cowardice. That man is our greatest enemy, and here we have a chance to be rid of him. You have already broken two tenets of our creed. Now you would break the third. Do not compromise the Brotherhood. I am your superior, in both title and ability. You should know better than to question me. Hold, Templars! You are not the only ones with business here. Ah. Well, this explains my missing man. And what is it you want? Blood. You know not the things in which you meddle, Assassin. I spare you only that you may return to your master and deliver a message. The Holy Land is lost to him and his. He should flee now while he has the chance. Stay, and all of you will die. Altair, you've returned! Raouf. It is good to see you unharmed. I trust your mission was a success. Is the Master in his tower? Yes, yes. Uh, buried in his books, as always. No doubt he expects you. My thanks, brother. Safety and peace, Altair. On you as well. Ah, he returns at last. Abbas. Where are the others? Did you ride ahead hoping to be the first one back? I know you are loath to share the glory. Silence is just another form of ascent. Have you nothing better to do? 
I bring word from the master. He waits for you in the library. Best hurry. No doubt you're eager to put your tongue to his boot. Another word and I'll put my blade to your throat. There'll be plenty of time for that later, brother. Altair. Master. Come forward. Tell me of your mission. I trust you have recovered the Templar's treasure. There was some trouble, Master. Robert de Sable was not alone. When does our work ever go as expected? It's our ability to adapt that makes us who we are. This time it was not enough. What do you mean? I have failed you. The treasure? Lost to us. And Robert? Escaped. I send you, my best man, to complete a mission more important than any that has come before. And you return to me with nothing but apologies and excuses. I did. Do not speak! Not another word! This is not what I expected. We'll need to mount another force. I swear to you I'll find him. I'll go in. No! You'll do nothing. You've done enough. Where are Malik and Kadar? Dead. No! Not dead. Malik? I still live at least. And your brother? Gone. Because of you! Robert threw me from the room. There was no way back. Nothing I could do. Because you would not heed my warning! All of this could have been avoided! And my brother... My brother would still be alive! Your arrogance nearly cost us victory today. Nearly? I've watched your favorite fail to find. Here, take it. Though it seems I've returned with more than just their treasure. Master, we are under attack. Robert de Sable lays siege to Masiaf's village. So he seeks a battle. Very well, I'll not deny him. Go, inform the others. The fortress must be prepared. As for you, Altair, our discussion will have to wait. You must make for the village, destroy these invaders, drive them from our home. It will be done. Altair, it's good you've come. We need your help. What's happened? Templars. They attacked the village. Most of our people were able to get away. Most, but not all. What do you need me to do? Distract the Templars. Keep them occupied while I rescue those still trapped inside. As you wish. Break off the attack and return to Masia! Almiral in command! Tayer, come! Almuelin is not done with us yet. Where are we going? Up there. We have a surprise plan for our guests. Just do as I do. It should become clear soon enough. Stand on that platform, Altair. Heretic! Return what you have stolen from me! You've no claim to it, Robert. Take yourself from here before I'm forced to thin your ranks further. You play a dangerous game! I assure you, this is no game. So be it! Bring forth the hostage! Your village lays in ruins, and your stores are hardly endless! How long before your fortress crumbles from within? How disciplined will your men remain when the wells run dry and their food is gone? My men do not fear death, Robert. They welcome it, and the rewards it brings. Good! Then they shall have it all around! Follow me, and do so without hesitation. Show this fool knight what it is to have no fear! Go to God! I 
Better stay behind and tend to him. You'll have to go ahead without us. The ropes there will bring you to a trap we've set. Go and release it. Bring death upon our enemies. You did well to drive Robert from here. His force is broken. It shall be a long while before he troubles us again. Tell me, do you know why it is you are successful? You listened. Were it that you'd listened in Solomon's temple, Altair? All of this would have been avoided. I did as I was asked. No, you did as you pleased. Malik has told me of the arrogance you displayed, your disregard for our ways. What are you doing? There are rules. We are nothing if we do not abide by the Assassin's Creed. Three simple tenets, which you seem to forget. I will remind you. First and foremost, stay your blade. From the flesh of an innocent, I know. And stay your tongue, unless I give you leave to use it. If you are so familiar with this tenet, then why did you kill the old man inside the temple? He was innocent. He did not need to die. Your insolence knows no bounds. Make humble your heart, child, or I swear I'll tear it from you with my own hands. The second tenet is that which gives us strength. Hide in plain sight. Let the people mask you such that you become one with the crowd. Do you remember? Because as I hear it, you chose to expose yourself, drawing attention before you'd struck. The third and final tenet, the worst of all your betrayals. Never compromise the Brotherhood. Its meaning should be obvious. Your actions must never bring harm upon us, direct or indirect. Yet your selfish act beneath Jerusalem placed us all in danger. Worse still, you brought the enemy to our home. Every man we've lost today was lost because of you! I am sorry. Truly I am. But I cannot abide a traitor. I am not a traitor. Your actions indicate otherwise. And so you leave me no choice. Peace be upon you, Altair. <laughs> He's experiencing a far better adoption rate than the other subjects. I'm still pulling him out. He's been in there way too long. No, not yet. We're still so far from where we need to be. We shouldn't risk it. What's another hour or two? Why don't we discuss this in the conference room? Give Desmond a minute to stretch his legs. I, I really don't see the need. Warren, please. Fine. Done for today, Mr. Miles. I suggest you return to your room and get some rest. Damn it, they locked the door.
Gotta say, that's a little creepy, Doc. Waking up to you standing over me. You been watching me sleep? We're always watching you. Now get up. We've got a lot of work to do. Ooh, wonder who I get to kill today. Don't be so cavalier. Your ancestors almost had the right idea, Mr. Miles. If the deaths of a few people, evil people, no less, could save the lives of thousands more, well... It seems a small sacrifice. What do you mean, almost? They didn't go far enough. To use a rather tired analogy, corruption is no different than cancer. Cut out the tumors, but fail to treat the source and... Well, you're buying time at best. There's no true change to be had without comprehensive, systemic intervention. Chemo for the masses. Education. Re-education, to be more precise. But it's not easy, and it doesn't always take. Let me guess. You've got a better solution. What is it, then? <laughs> now that would be telling. Sit down, Desmond. I am... alive. But I saw you stab me. Felt death's embrace. You saw what I wanted you to see. And then you slept the sleep of the dead. Of the womb. That you might awake and be reborn. To what end? Do you remember, Altair? What it is the assassin fight for? Peace. In all things. Yes, in all things. It is not enough to end the violence one man commits upon another. It refers to peace within as well. You cannot have one without the other. So it is said. So it is! But you, my son, have not found inner peace. It manifests in ugly ways. You are arrogant and overconfident. Were you not the one to say that nothing is true and everything is permitted? You do not understand the true meaning of the phrase, my child. It does not grant you the freedom to do as you wish. It is a knowledge meant to guide your senses. It expects a wisdom you clearly lack. Then what is to become of me? I should kill you for the pain you've brought upon us. Malik thinks it only fair. Your life in exchange for his brothers. But this would be a waste of my time and your talents. You'll see you have been stripped of your possessions, your rank as well. You are a novice, a child once more, as you were on the day you first joined our order. I am offering you a chance at redemption. You'll earn your way back into the Brotherhood. I assume you've something planned. First, you must prove to me you remember how to be an assassin. So you'd have me take a life? No. Not yet, at least. For now, you're to become a student once again. There is no need for this. Others tracked your targets for you, but no more. From today on, you will track them yourself. If this is what you wish. It is. Then tell me what it is that I must do. We have been betrayed. Someone was assisting Robert de Sable. One of our own. You must find him and bring him here for questioning. What can you tell me of the traitor? Ah, but that's just it. I've given you all I will. The rest is up to you. Safety and peace, Altair. You're in my way. Yes, Al Mualim has asked that I assist you. Remind you how it is we hunt our prey. I know how it works. Be that as it may, I have no desire to disobey. Then be quick. The Assassin have many tools at their disposal. Yes, yes. We can eavesdrop, we can pickpocket or we can use violence to intimidate. Good, you remember. So you'd have me walk amongst the others and learn what I can about the traitor? Yes. Begin by going to the village market. That's where we first spotted the traitor. You know who it is? Perhaps. Then give me a name and let's be done with it. That's not the way it works. Now go. And remember, begin your search in the village market. I know what I saw. Mosul opened the gate. He let the Templars in. Then you must tell Al Muallim. I can't. Masun did not act alone. Someone inside the fortress helped him. What makes you say this? He exchanges letters with someone inside. The basket weaver carries them for him. That's no reason to stay silent. Ah, 
But the Weaver delivered him a letter just before the attack. I suspect it held the order to open the gate. Then speak to the Weaver. He can name Masoon's accomplice. He's disappeared. Hiding for fear of being dragged into this. <laughs> Probably inside one of his own baskets. Please, just one. We lost everything in the attack and have no place to store our grain. I... I can't right now. I'm busy. Is this about the letter? What letter? The letter you received when I got here. Bad news? I, I don't know what you're talking about. Listen, I'll see what I can do, but please, I need to be alone right now. Come back later. As you wish. Place where all might live as equals, but men like Al Mualim would see this dream destroyed. Two days' attack was but the first, and more will follow unless you repent. Give up your wicked ways, rise up against the madman of Masyaf, see through his lies. Quickly then. I've no interest in your games. Why did you betray us? And who do you serve? We serve the Templars. You should too. Their cause is just. We? Jamal. He told me of their plans. Asked me to open the gate. You betrayed us. We, who called you brother and kept you safe from harm. I did what I believed was right. And if you must kill me for it, so be it. I am not afraid to die. Your fate is not for me to decide. It's Al Mualim who will judge. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. You stand accused of betraying our brotherhood and opening the way for our enemies. How do you answer to these charges? I deny nothing. I'm proud of what I did. My only regret is that they failed. I offer you a chance to repent. To renounce the evil in your heart. It is not evil in my heart. But truth, I will not repent. Then you will die. <laughs> you did well, Altair, and have earned the right to carry a blade once more. What will become of the one who helped him? It remains to be seen. Some do ill out of ignorance or fear. These men can be saved. Others suffer from corrupted wills, their minds poisoned and twisted. These men must be destroyed. Soon enough, we'll know what sort of man Jamal is. I've passed your test, then. What now? <laughs> oh, my child. We've only just begun. I hold here a list. Nine names adorn it. Nine men who need to die. 
They are plague bringers, war makers. Their power and influence corrupts the land and ensures the Crusades continue. You will find them. Kill them. In doing so, you'll sow the seeds of peace, both for the region and for yourself. In this way, you might be redeemed. Nine lives in exchange for mine. A most generous offer, I think. Have you any questions? Only where I need begin. Very well. Ride for Damas. Seek out the black market merchant named Tamir. Let him be the first to fall. Be sure to visit the city's assassin bureau when you arrive. I'll dispatch a bird to inform the Rafik of your arrival. Speak with him. You'll find he has much to offer. If you believe it best. I do. Besides, you cannot begin your mission without his consent. What nonsense is this? I don't need his permission. It's a waste of time. It's the price you pay for the mistakes you've made. You answer not only to me, but all the Brotherhood as well now. So be it. Take your equipment and go. Prove that you are not yet lost to us. to deliver the letter to your merchant friend. And you know who to see? The same man as always. Do not think to betray my presence in this city. We have many eyes, many ears. And many arms, yes. Good for silencing those who say too much. I know this well. You have my word. Good. Then be quick about it. Time is short. Safety and peace, Altair. I trust you are looking for information to aid you in your strike against Tamir. I fear I have nothing to offer. But uh, Bahir might. He shouldn't be too far from here. So they've sent you, eh? An interesting choice, though not my place to judge. The Rafiq has asked me to observe the souk that Tamir calls home. Here's what I have learned. There's a group of troublemakers who gather around its southeastern exit. They and the guards do not get along. Find a way to earn their friendship, and they'll surely be of service to you. Altair, it is good to see you, and in one piece. You as well, friend. I am sorry for your troubles. Think nothing of it. A few of your brothers were here earlier, in fact. Oof, if you'd heard the things they said, I'm certain you'd have slain them where they stood. It's quite all right. Yes, you've never been one for the creed, have you? Is that all? I'm sorry. Sometimes I forget myself. What business brings you to the mass? A man named Tamir. Al Muallam takes issue with the work he does. I meant to end it. I trust you have searched the area to better understand your enemy. Yes, here's what I've learned. Tamir rules over the Souk El Salah. He makes his fortune selling arms and armor and is supported by many in this endeavor. Blacksmiths, traders, financiers. He's the single largest death dealer in the land. And have you devised a way to rid us of this blight? A meeting is being arranged at Souk El Salah to discuss an important sale. They say it's the largest deal Tamir has ever made. He'll be distracted with his work. That's when I'll strike. Your plan seems solid enough. I give you leave to go. Let Al Mualim's will be done. You may rest here until you are ready. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Your men 
have failed to kill the order, which means I have failed my client. We need more time. This is the excuse of a lazy or incompetent man. Which are you? Neither. What I see says otherwise. Now, tell me, what do you intend to do to solve this problem of ours? These weapons are needed now. I see no solution. The men work day and night, but your client requires so much, and the destination, it is a difficult route. Were it that you could produce weapons with the same skill as you produce excuses? I have done all I can. It is not enough. Then perhaps you ask too much. Too much? I gave you everything. Without me, you would still be charming serpents for coin. All I ask in the return was you fill the orders I bring you. And you say I ask too much? <laughs> you dare disrespect me? Peace, Tamir. I meant no insult. Then you should have kept your mouth shut. No, stop! Stop? <laughs> I'm just getting started. You came into my souk, stood before my men, and dared to insult me! No. Leave the body. Let this be a lesson to the rest of you. Think twice before you tell me something cannot be done. Now get back to work. Pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. Where did you learn your craft? Be at peace. You'll pay for this. You and all your kind. It seems you're the one pays now, my friend. You'll not profit from suffering any longer. You think me some petty death dealer, suckling at the breast of war? A strange target, don't you think? Why me, when so many others do the same? You believe yourself different, then. Oh, but I am. For I serve a far nobler cause than mere profit. Just like my brothers. Brothers? Ah, but he thinks I act alone. I am but a piece. A man with a part to play. You'll come to know the others soon enough. They won't take kindly to what you've done. Good. I look forward to ending their lives as well. Such pride. It will destroy you, child. Word has reached me of your victory, Altair. You have my gratitude and my respect. Thank you. It is a shame that the other assassins continue to hold you in such poor regard. Rafiq, I do not care what the others think of me. As you wish, Altair. You should bring news of your victory to Al Malim. I'm certain he has more work for you to do. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Out of the machine, Mr. Miles. What's the matter, Doc? Miss Stillman is once again insisting I let you rest. So, feel like telling me who put the stick up his ass? We have a deadline. One week. Well, six days now. Deadline? I can't talk about it. Man, put yourself in my shoes. I'm being held hostage by a group of scientists, at least I think you're scientists, and forced to spend all day in some crazy-ass machine. You won't tell me what you're looking for or why you want it, but I'm supposed to be thanking you for keeping me alive. This is so fucked! Sorry, but it is. What do you want me to do? Hmm, let's see, I don't know. Maybe give me some answers? I can't. And it's better this way. Safer. Safer for who? Both of us.
Hey, you know what? I've got a question I think you can actually answer. What's up? Why is it that sometimes the guys in there talk like they're from the future? The future? Yeah, I mean the present. Now, today, whatever. You've probably noticed that English has become the official language of the Holy Land. Yeah, I was gonna say. The Animus is translating speech it deems vital into more modern English, so expect a few anachronisms. I could probably make it more authentic, but... You ever read Chaucer? Who? Yeah, definitely not for you. Can you tell me more about Abstergo? What goes on here? Beyond the whole keeping me prisoner thing. Abstergo is one of the largest pharmaceutical companies in the world. Their primary focus is antidepressants. There's some information on the computer over there. But you already said this isn't about testing a drug. So what's the deal? I don't like where this is going. So it's safe to assume the Animus is not a part of their public face. What, you haven't seen the commercials? Oh my god. She has a sense of humor. I'm sorry, Desmond. I've got a lot of work to do. Like I said, if you want to know more about the company, take a look at the computer. The telecommunication stuff is particularly interesting. Let's go, Mr. Miles. Time's wasting. Where's Lucy? Oh, don't worry. She'll be with us soon enough. So why are you doing all this, Doc? What are you hoping to accomplish? You turn the television on lately? Read the newspaper? Never cared much for that stuff. Then, let me sum it up for you. The world's a mess. It's pathetic, really. You've seen it firsthand yourself. A thousand years between you and your ancestor, and society remains just as barbaric, just as stupid. And your point is... Order, Mr. Miles. The world needs order. That is what we're working towards, and that is what you're helping us to achieve. <laughs> you expect me to believe you're building a better tomorrow? That's exactly what we're doing. The human race calls out for direction. They want to know why they're here, what they're meant to do. Well, we're going to tell them. And once they understand how to live their lives, everything will be better. Better how? An end to all conflicts, large and small. Isn't that what you assassins strive for? Peace in all things? I told you, I'm not an assassin. Right. Right. I still don't see where I fit into things. In time, Mr. Miles. In time, you'll understand. Or you won't. I don't care either way, as long as you show us where it is. Where what is? Yes, we are. You've done well, Altair, and I'm confident that this is but the first of many successes. Tamir spoke as if he knew you well. He implied my work had a larger meaning. Significance comes not from a single act, but the context within which it is performed. The consequences born of it. Then is there more I need to know? Altair, your greatest failure was born of knowing too much. If I choose to withhold information, it is only to ensure you do not make the same mistake a second time. I see. No, you don't. And it will remain this way until you've learned your lesson. Still, you have performed competently. And as such, I restore a rank and will return a piece of your equipment. Go now, either to Akka or Jerusalem. There are men in both cities who require your attention. The Bureau leaders can tell you more about what needs to be done. Archer who guards the Eastern Wing. Poor bastard's brother caught an arrow in the throat. Doubt he'll last the night. How can he continue to work knowing what's to come? 
He visits his brother often, so I cover for him when I can. You aren't there now? No. I family business of my own to attend to. Then he'd best hope the doctor doesn't learn of his desertion. He won't. Long as you stay silent. Don't worry. Your secret's safe with me. Ah, Altai. A little bird told me you'd be paying a visit. Al Mualam has ordered the execution of Gagne de Naplus, and so here I am. What can you tell me about him? He is the Grand Master of the Knights Hospitality, and surely keeps his quarters in their district. Beyond that, I cannot say. I suggest you search the city. See what you can learn from the people. Tell me where they gather and I'll see what I can find. The public gardens north of here, or what's left of them, are as good a place as any to begin. There's an abandoned market northwest as well that merits watching. And Maria of Jehoshaphat's church to the west remains a popular meeting place. These three locations should be sufficient for your needs. I appreciate the information, Rafiq. It will be put to good use. See that it is. Come, brother. I could use that blade of yours. Too many archers about. This makes it difficult for me to work. Kill them. All of them. And I might be able to assist you in your campaign against the mad doctor. Keep in mind, however, that you must do this without being seen. Should you be discovered, they'll sound the alarm and you'll be forced to try again. Stay strong, citizens! Well done, Altair. With those archers dead, I can be about my business. Take this. It's some sort of work order for repairs to Garnier's hospital. Perhaps it'll be of use to you. Altair? How fares your search for Garnier? I know when and how to strike. Share your knowledge with me, then. He lives and works within the Order's hospital, northwest of here. Rumors speak of atrocities committed within its walls. It seems the good doctor enjoys experimenting on innocent citizens. Most of them kidnapped and brought here from Jerusalem. Clever. By stealing his subjects from another city, he avoids arousing too much suspicion here. But back to the matter at hand. What is your plan? Gagne keeps mainly to his quarters inside the hospital, though he leaves occasionally to inspect his patients. It's when he makes his rounds that I will strike. It's clear you've given this some thought. I give you leave to go. Remove this stain from Akka, Altai. Perhaps it will help cleanse your own. Rest here until you're ready to begin your mission. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Help! Help me! Help me! Please! You must help me! Enough, my child. I asked you to retrieve the patient, not to kill him. There, there. Everything will be all right. No! Give me no. your hand. Don't touch me! Not again! Cast out this fear, else I cannot help you. Help me? Like you helped the others? You took their souls! I saw. I saw! But not mine. No! You'll not have mine! Take hold of yourself! Do you think this gives me pleasure? Do you think I want to hurt you? But you leave me no choice. Every kind word matched by the back of his hand! All lies and deception! He won't be content until all bow before him! You should not have done that. Return him to his quarters. I'll be along once I've tended to the You other. can't keep me here! I'll escape again. No, you won't. Break his legs, both of them. You are so sorry. Have you people nothing better to do? Let 
go, your burden. Ah, I'll rest now, yes. The endless dream calls to me. But before I close my eyes, I must know what will become of my children. You mean the people made to suffer your cruel experiments? They'll be free now to return to their homes. Homes? What homes? The sewers? The portals? The prisons that we dragged them from? You took these people against their will. Yes. What little will there was for them to have. Are you really so naive? Do you appease a kind child simply because he wills? But I want to play with fire, father. What would you say? As you wish. Ah. But then you'd answer for his burn. These are not children, but men and women full grown. In body, perhaps, but not in mind. Which is the very damage I sought to repair. I admit, without the peace of Eden, which you stole from us, my progress was slowed. But there are herbs, mixtures, and extracts. My guards are proof of this. They were madmen before I found and freed them from the prisons of their own minds. <sighs> and with my death, madmen they will be again. You truly believe you were helping them? It's not what I believe. It's what I know. What news, Altair? Gagne is dead. Then you should return to Masayaf with news of your victory. There is something else. Speak it then, or would you have me read your mind? What do you think he wanted from these people? That he would keep them an experiment on them as he did? Yours is not to ask, but act, Altair. It doesn't matter what he did or why. Only that he's dead. But Gagne seemed to believe he was helping these people. Is that what you saw? No. What I saw was not a place of healing, but of pain. Then why are we having this conversation? I... I don't know. Forget I spoke of it. I already have. Fast forward in memory to a more recent one. Have you news for me, Altair? Gagne de Naplus is dead. Excellent. We could not have hoped for a more agreeable outcome. And yet... What is it? The doctor insisted his work was noble, and looking back, those who were supposedly his captives seemed grateful to the man. Not all of them, but enough to make me wonder. How did he manage to turn enemy into friend? Leaders will always find ways to make others obey them, and that is what makes them leaders. When words fail, they turn to coin. When that won't do, they resort to baser things. Bribes, threats, and other types of trickery. There are plants, Altair. Herbs from distant lands that can cause a man to take leave of his senses. So great are the pleasures it brings, men may even become enslaved by it. You think these men were drugged then? Poisoned? Yes, if it truly was as you describe it. Herbs. This seems a strange method of control. Our enemies have accused me of the same. The promise of paradise. They think it is a garden, overflowing with women and pleasure. But I drug you as Garnier did his men, and tempt you with his rewards. They do not know the truth of it. Which is how it must be. But if they knew the truth of it, that all we seek is peace. Then they would not fear us, and we would have no hold over them. Go. It is time you continued with your work. Another rank is restored to you, as is a piece of your equipment. We'll speak again when the next has fallen. Please be more careful next time. Oh. <laughs> Will be rewarded. The law provides. You need no longer go without. Any man willing to work can have his due. Come, speak with me. Let me tell you what Talal can offer. The comforts of a fine life can be yours. Who knows what the future holds? What tragedies tomorrow may bring? 
Defend against an uncertain future. Protect the ones you love. Work hard, and you will be rewarded. Talal provides. <laughs> 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 I have nothing to say to you. Speak to me or speak to God. It's your choice. You won't stop the work he does. Cannot stop it. Stop what? What work? He prepares them for the journey. Journey where? They are held in his warehouse. And when the time comes, they are sent to Akka. Where is this warehouse? And why Akka? Talal tells me what I need to know. Nothing more. It is safer that way. For him, perhaps. Though not, I fear, for you. <laughs> Safety and peace, Malik. Your presence here deprives me of both. What do you want? Al Muellem has asked. Ask that you perform some menial task in an effort to redeem yourself. So be out with it. Tell me what you can about the one they call Talal. It is your duty to locate and assassinate the man of Tyre, not mine. You'd do well to assist me. His death benefits the entire land. Do you deny his death benefits you as well? Such things do not concern you. Your actions very much concern me. Then don't help me. I'll find him myself. <sighs> wait, wait. It won't do having you stumble about the city like a blind man. Better you know where to begin your search. I'm listening. I can think of three places. South of here in the markets that line the border between the Muslim and Jewish districts. To the north near the mosque of this district, and east in front of St. Anne's Church, close to the Babariha Gate. Is that everything? It's enough to get you started, and more than you deserve. The guard won't take action. It falls to us to do something. What you propose is madness, but necessary. How many more will we allow to go missing before the people take a stand? It does not affect us. Not yet. But if we continue to do nothing, it will. And what do you propose? I've watched the man. Learn everything there is to know about his operation. It's all here on a map I've made. He inspects his stock every day at the same time. This is when I'll strike. So you have a piece of paper. It won't save you when you're discovered won't shield you from their swords and arrows. If all goes well, it won't come to that. Anyway, it's a risk I'll have to take. Wish me luck, my friend. Indeed. You'll need it. He just killed that person! Come, come quickly! Malik. Come to waste more of my time? I've found Talal. I'm ready to begin my mission. That is for me to decide. Very well. Here's what I know. He traffics in human lives, kidnapping Jerusalem's citizens and selling them into slavery. His base is a warehouse located inside the Barbican, north of here. As we speak, he prepares a caravan for travel. I'll strike while he's inspecting his stock. If I can avoid his men, Talal himself should prove little challenge. Little challenge? Listen to you. Such arrogance. Are we finished? Are you satisfied with what I've learned? No. But it will have to do. Rest, prepare, cry in the corner. Do whatever it is you do before a mission, only make sure you do it quietly. What now, slaver? Do not call me that. I only wish to help them. As I myself was helped. You do no kindness imprisoning them Help like me. this. Imprisoning Save them? Save me! I keep them safe, preparing them for the journey that lies ahead. What journey? It is a life of servitude. 
<laughs> you know nothing. It was folly to even bring you here. To think that you might see and understand. I understand well enough. Show yourself. Ah, so you want to see the man who called you here. You did not call me here. I came on my own. <laughs> did you? Who unbarred the door? Cleared the path? Did you once raise your blade against a single man of mine, huh? No. All this I did for you. Step into the light, then, and I will grant you one final favor. What? Now I stand before you. What is it you desire? Come down here. Let us settle this with honor. Why must it always come to violence? It seems I cannot help you, for you do not wish to help yourself. And I cannot allow my work to be threatened. You leave me no choice. You must die. Yes, so teach you not to trespass. You've nowhere to run now. Share your secrets with me. My part is play. The Brotherhood is not so weak that my death will stop its work. What Brotherhood? Al Mualim is not the only one with designs upon the Holy Land. And that's all you'll have from me. Then we are finished. Beg forgiveness from your god. He's long abandoned us. Long abandoned the men and women I took into my arms. What do you mean? Beggars, whores, addicts, lepers. Do they strike you as proper slaves? Unfit for even the most menial tasks? No. I took them not to sell, but to save. And yet you'd kill us all. For no other reason than it was asked of you. No. You profit from the war. From lives lost and broken. Yes. You would think that, ignorant as you are. Wall off your mind, eh? They say it's what your kind do best. Do you see the irony in all this? No. Not yet, it seems. But you will. Altair! Wonderful to see you return to us! And how fared the mission? The deed is done. Talal is dead. Oh, I know, I know. In fact, the entire city knows! Have you forgotten the meaning of subtlety? A skilled assassin ensures his work is noticed by the many. No! A skilled assassin maintains control of his environment. We can argue the details all you'd like, Malik. But the fact remains, I've accomplished the task set to me by Al Muallim. Go then. Return to the old man. Let us see with whom he sides. You and I are on the same side, Malik. That... Damn it! What's the problem now? I'm getting weird temperature readings. I think the animus is overheating. Christ, it's always something! How long? Too soon to tell. These delays are unacceptable, Miss Stillman. I want progress reports every hour. It's gonna be a while, Desmond. Why don't you go lie down or something? Get some rest. The hell? Someone's been in here.
Looks like some kind of access code. Rise and shine. We've got quite a day ahead of us. You're in a good mood this morning. Miss Stillman has made some modifications to the Animus. You should be able to remain inside even longer now. And help you with your treasure hunt. This is serious business, Mr. Miles. I don't think you fully appreciate the work that Abstergo does. Maybe because I don't actually know what you people do. We change the world. Every day, in a hundred different ways. Did you know that nearly every single breakthrough of the past millennia, be it medical, mechanical, or philosophical, has come from Abstergo or its predecessors? That's a bold claim, Doc. Think you might be exaggerating a bit? Not in the slightest. Oh, we certainly don't take the credit. That would arouse far too much suspicion. We choose our beneficiaries with great care. Why? Isn't it obvious? It means we're in control. But how? What makes you guys so special, so smart, that you happen to invent all these things while us mere mortals stumble around like idiots? To be fair, we don't invent them. We find them. Find them? They're gifts, Mr. Miles. From those who came before. We'll have to continue this discussion later. Time's wasting. You've done well. Three of the nine lay dead, and for this you have my thanks. But do not think to rest upon your laurels. Your work has just begun. I am yours to command, Master. King Richard, emboldened by his victory at Arca, prepares to move south towards Jerusalem. Salahadin is surely aware of this, and so he gathers his men before the broken citadel of Arsuf. Would you have me kill them both, then? End their war before it begins in earnest? No. To do so would scatter their forces, and subject the realm to the bloodlust of 10,000 aimless warriors. It will be many days before they meet, and while they march, they do not fight. You must concern yourself with a more immediate threat. The men who pretend to govern in their absence. Give me names and I'll give you blood. So I will. Abun Nukud? The wealthiest man in Damas, Majduddin, Regent of Jerusalem, William of Montferrat, Liege Lord of Acre. What are their crimes? Greed, arrogance, the slaughter of innocents. Walk amongst the people of their cities. You'll learn the secrets of their sins. Do not doubt that these men are obstacles to the peace we seek. Then they will die. Another of your items is restored. Take it. See that it is put to good use. Return to me as each man falls, that we might better understand their intentions. And Altair, take care. Your recent work has likely attracted the attention of the city guard. They'll be more suspicious than they've been in the past. my friend. Welcome, welcome. Whose life do you come to collect today? His name is Abun Akud. What can you tell me about him? Oh, the merchant king of Damas. Richest man in the city. Quite exciting, quite dangerous. I envy you, Altair. Well, not the bit where you were beaten and stripped of your rank, but I envy everything else. Oh, except for the terrible things the other assassins say about you. But yes, aside from the failure and the hatred, yes, aside from those things, I envy you very much. I do not care what the others think or say. I'm here to do a job. So I ask again, what can you tell me about the Merchant King? Only that he must be a very bad man if Al Mualim has sent you to see him. He keeps to his own kind, wrapped in the finery of this city's noble district. A busy man, always up to something. I'm sure if you spend some time amongst his type, you'll learn all you need to know about him. And where would you have me begin my search? If I were you, I'd start with the Omayyad Mosque and Sukh Saruja, 
both of which are west of here. Further to the northwest is Salahadin Citadel. It's a popular meeting spot and has proved a reliable source of loose tongues in the past. Yes, these three places should serve your needs. My thanks for your guidance, Rafiq. I'll return when I've gathered the necessary information. It was good of you to come. It is an honor to serve. What do you require? The letter I've given you must be brought to Salahadin's camp. Seek out the one they call Hisham. He will be able to help. But tell no one else of this. None will know my mission. Then our business is concluded. Friend, my brother, it's been such a long time. Any news of Ada since she left? No? How sad. I'm sure you'll find her someday. I have heard a feather is lying on top of Abul Nukud's head. Maybe I could help you, but I have a mission myself. I have four targets I must eliminate before noon. Let's cooperate, just like old times. Two for you, two for me. They are Abul Nukud's personal guards. You will spot them in minutes. Who wasn't that great? Just like in Alep, you remember? Here's something I found on one of the Merchant King's men. I think it's a map of where he has stationed his guards. I'm sure it will come in handy in your mission. Anytime you're in Damascus, come see me. You know my door is always open to you. Safety and peace, my friend. Earthly destruction. He spent his own coin to see us fed and clothed. His men tend to the fires that we might be warm. His kindness knows no bounds. Everything we now have, we have because of him. The Merchant King provides for one and all. He asks for nothing in return. Let his generosity serve as an example to us all. Everyone should strive to be as he. <laughs> I'll teach you to make a fight. <laughs> <laughs> I'll talk, I'll talk. I've no interest in dying for him. His coin's not worth my life. A wise decision. What is it you want? I have business with the Merchant King. Ha! Huh? Good luck with that. He rarely leaves his chambers. Why? Is he afraid? Not fear. Hate. He hates himself as much as he hates the people he pretends to serve. Locks himself away in his personal quarters out of shame. He can't stay hidden forever. No. No celebrations of his. He comes out to speak, to look down upon the people. A sense of belonging, I suppose, however brief. What's wrong with him that he would hide like this? You'll see. Now let me go. Let you go? So you can tell him of my plan? I won't say a thing. No, you won't. Peace be upon you, Altair. How may I serve you? I've done as asked and learned all I need to know about my prey. Then you must share your knowledge with me. Abu Naqud is corrupt to the core and despised by his own citizens as a result. It appears he's been stealing money meant for the people of Damas and spending it on himself. Even as we speak, he flaunts his greed, preparing for a lavish party. His guards and servants should have their hands full dealing with the guests. They won't even know I'm there. Most impressive, my friend. The others said you'd make a mess of things, but not I. No, I was sure you'd come through, and come through you have. The Bureau is yours to do with as you please until you're ready to begin. Welcome, welcome. Thank you all for joining me this evening. Please, eat, drink, enjoy all the pleasures I have to offer. Take your time, I will wait. I trust everything is to your satisfaction. Most excellent, most excellent, thank you. Good, good. 
It pleases me to see you all so happy. For these are dark days, my friends, and we must enjoy this bounty while we still can. War threatens to consume us all. Salah Adin bravely fights for what he believes in, and you are always there to support him without question. It is your generosity that allows his campaign to continue. So, I propose a toast then. To you, my dear friend, who have brought us to where we are today. May you be given everything you deserve for it. Such kindness! I didn't think it in you. You, who have been so quick to judge me, and so cruel. Oh, do not feign ignorance. Do you take me for a fool? That I have not heard the words you whisper behind my back. Well, I have, and I fear I can never forget. But this is not why I called you here tonight, no. I wish to speak more of this war, and your part in it. You give up your coin quick as can be, knowing all too well it buys the deaths of thousands. You don't even know why we fight. The sanctity of the Holy Land, you're saying. Or the evil inclination of our enemies. But these are lies you tell yourselves. <laughs> no. All this suffering is born of fear and hate. It bothers you that they are different. Just as it bothers you that I am different. <sighs> Compassion. Mercy. Tolerance. These words mean nothing to any of you. Mean nothing to those infidel invaders who ravage our land in search of gold and glory. And so I say, enough! I pledged myself to another cause. One that will bring about a new world in which all people might live side by side in peace. A pity none of you will live to see it. <laughs> <laughs> Kill anyone who tries to escape. Be at peace now. Their words can no longer do harm. Why have you done this? You stole money from those you claim to lead. Sent it away for some unknown purpose. I want to know where it's gone and why. Look at me. My very nature is an affront to the people I ruled. And these noble robes did little more than to muffle their shouts of hate. So this is about vengeance then? No, not vengeance. But my conscience, how could I finance a war in service to the same god that calls me an abomination? If you do not serve Salah ad-Din's cause, then whose? In time, you'll come to know them. I think perhaps you already do. Then why hide? And why these dark deeds? Is it so different from your own work? You take the lives of men and women, strong in the conviction that their deaths will improve the lots of those left behind. A minor evil for a greater good? We are the same. No, we are nothing alike. Ah, but I see it in your eyes. You doubt. You cannot stop us. We will have our new world. Word has reached me of your success, Altair. Abu Nakud's reign of terror is at an end. I'm glad to hear it. He killed them. The men and women at his party. It was poison. A coward's tool. Blamed them for the war. Said he wished to end it. Strange. But then again, the Merchant King was known to be a bit... different. Perhaps this was simply a symptom of his madness. Perhaps. You sound unconvinced. Speak with Al-Mualab, then. He may offer a better explanation. Yes, 
We'll see what he has to say. Come, Altair. Speak with me a moment. As you wish. Word has reached me of your success. You have my gratitude and that of the realm. Freeing these cities from their corrupt leaders will no doubt promote the cause of peace. Can you really be so sure? The means by which men rule are reflected in their people. As you cleanse the cities of corruption, you heal the hearts and minds of those who live within. Our enemies would disagree. What do you mean? Each man I've slain has confessed strange words to me. They are without regret. Even in death they seem confident of their success. Though they do not admit it directly, there is a tie that binds them. I'm sure of it. There is a difference, Altair, between what we are told to be true and what we see to be true. Most men do not bother to make the distinction. It is simpler that way. But as an assassin, it is your nature to notice, to question. Then what is it that connects these men? Ah, but as an assassin, it is also your duty to still these thoughts and trust in your master. For there can be no true peace without order, and order requires authority. You speak in circles, master. You commend me for being aware, then ask me not to be. Which is it? The question will be answered when you no longer need to ask it. I assume you called me here for more than just a lecture. <laughs> Very well. A rank and weapon are again restored to you. Two more leaders remain. Go and see to it that their rule is ended. Word has spread of your deeds, Altair. It seems you are sincere in your desire to redeem yourself. I do what I can. And sometimes you do it well. I assume it is work that reunites us? Yes. William of Montferrat is my target. What can you tell me of the man himself? William has been named regent while the king conducts his war. The people see it as a strange choice given the history between Richard and William's son, Conrad. But I think Richard rather clever for it. Clever how? Richard and Conrad do not see eye to eye on most matters. Though they are civil enough in public, there are whispers that each intends evil upon the other. And then, there was that business with Akkar's captured Saracens. In its wake, Conrad has returned to Tyre, and Richard has compelled William to remain here as his guest. You mean his hostage? Whatever you wish to call it, William's presence here should dissuade Conrad from acting out. I've never been one for politics. But surely you realize your every action shapes the course of this land's future. You are a politician too, in your own way. As you wish. Now where would you suggest I begin my search? Richard's Citadel, southwest of here. Or rather, the market in front of it. You'll find the Cathedral of the Holy Cross in that direction as well. It's a popular place and should be filled with talkative citizens. Finally, try the border to the west, where the chain and hospitaller districts meet. That should start you on your way. Very well. I won't disturb you further. It's no trouble at all. Oh god, don't kill me! Oh, it's you, Altair. You scared me. Richard's men are after me. Two of them, to be exact. I was trying to strike a deal with them. But I realized that they were toying with me, so I ran away. You shall be the angel of death and collect their heads before they collect mine. When it is done, I shall tell you of the deal. Let me rear for the moment, Altair. William of Montferrat has replaced many of the district's honest merchants with men loyal to his cause. He seeks to weaken faith in King Richard by overcharging honest citizens for poorly crafted goods. These corrupt merchants must be removed. Find their stands and destroy them. I'll cut you down! Thank you for the help, I'll tell you. It may seem a small thing you've done today, but it's important nonetheless. This bit of paper should prove useful when you finally face William. Oh, oh. Uh, 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 uh
relief it is to know that I am safe. Thank you, Master. I tried to make a deal with the Citadel guards to leave the gates open, even when the alarm sounds. I failed you. So now, your only escape from Richard's Citadel will be to climb the fortress walls. Forgive me. Safety and peace, brother. Although it seems I'll be receiving neither. Serves me right, I suppose. Got a bit careless, and now William sent his bowmen after me. I deal with them myself, but, to be honest, I lack the skill. Would you be willing to seek them out and kill them? I, I might have something useful for you, were you to accept. But be careful not to let them see you. Thank you, Montaigne. I can once more move freely through the city. In exchange for your aid, take this map I prepared. It shows where William has stationed his other archers. Most useful should you find yourself inside his fortress. Altair, what brings you back so soon? I've done as asked and armed myself with knowledge. Speak, and I will judge. William's host is large and many men call him master, but he's not without enemies. He and King Richard do not see eye to eye. It's true, they've never been close. This works to my advantage. Richard's visit has upset him. Once the king has left, William will retreat into his fortress to brood. He'll be distracted. That's when I will strike. You're sure of this? As sure as I can be. And if things change, I'll adapt. Then I give you leave to go. End the life of Montferrat that we may call this city free. I'll return when the deed's been done. thousand souls, William. I was told they would be held as prisoners and used to barter for the release of our men. The Saracens would not have honored that end of the bargain. You know this to be true. I did you a favor. <laughs> oh, yes. A great favor indeed. Now our enemies will be that much stronger in their convictions. Fight that much harder. I know our enemy well. They will not be emboldened, but filled with fear. Tell me, how is it you know the intentions of our enemies so well? You who forsake the field of battle to play in politics. I did what was right, what was just. You swore an oath to uphold the work of God, William. But that is not what I see here. No, I see a man who's trampled it. Your words are most unkind, my liege. I would hope I might have earned your trust by now. You are Arthur's regent, William, set to rule in my stead. How much more trust is required? Perhaps you'd like my crown. You missed the point! But this is nothing new. Much as I'd like to waste my day trading words with you, I have a war to fight. We'll have to continue this another time. Do not let me delay you then, your grace. I fear there will be no place for men like him in the new world. Send word that I wish to speak with the troops. We must ensure that everyone is doing their part. Warn them that any negligence will be severely punished. I'm in no mood to be trifled with today. Yes, my lord. The rest of you, follow me. I'll deal with him myself. Rest now. Your schemes are at an end. What do you know of my work? I know that you are going to murder Richard and claim Akka for your son Conrad. <laughs> for Conrad? My son is an arse, unfit to lead his host, let alone a kingdom. And Richard, the Oncino is no better, blinded as he is by faith in the insubstantial. Akka does not belong to either of them. Then who? The city belongs to its people. How can you claim to speak for the citizens? You stole their food, disciplined them without mercy, forced them into service under you. Everything I did, I did to prepare them for the new world. Stole their food? No. I took possession so that when the lean times came, it might be rationed properly. 
<coughs> Look around. My district is without crime, save those committed by you and your ilk. And as for the conscription, they were not being trained to fight. They were being taught the merits of order and discipline. These things are hardly evil. No matter how noble you believe your intentions, these acts are cruel and cannot continue. <laughs> we'll see how sweet they are, the fruits of your labors. You do not free the cities as you believe, but rather damn them. And in the end, you'll have only yourself to blame. You, who speak of good intentions. What news? William of Montferrat is dead, and with him his plans for betrayal. You've done well keeping Akka from his hands. But why now, when the Crusaders require unity most? Could have waited. Waited for what? For Richard to return and discover his schemes? No. It was the perfect time for him to strike. Strange. I was sure he meant to take Akka for Conrad, yet he claimed this was not his plan. You cannot trust the words of a snake, which even in death produces venom. I should discuss this with Al Muallim. Yes, my friend. Make haste for Masia. I am sure he is eager for news. Come, Altair. I would have news of your progress. I've done as you've asked. Good. Good. I sense your thoughts are elsewhere. Speak your mind. Each man I'm sent to kill speaks cryptic words to me. Each time I come to you and ask for answers. Each time you give only riddles in exchange. But no more. Who are you to say no more? I'm the one who does the killing. If you want it to continue, you'll speak straight with me for once. Tread carefully, boy. I do not like your tone. And I do not like your deception. I have offered you a chance to restore your lost honor. Not lost. Taken by you, and then you've sent me to fetch it again like some damn dog. It seems I'll need to find another. A shame. You showed great potential. I think if you had another, you'd have sent him long ago. You said the answer to my question would arise when I no longer needed to ask it. So I will not ask. I demand you tell me what binds these men. Now, what you say is true. These men are connected by a blood oath not unlike our own. Who are they? Non nobis, domine non nobis. Templars. Now you see the true reach of Robert de Sable. All of these men, leaders of cities, commanders of armies. All pledge allegiance to his cause. Their works are not meant to be viewed on their own, are they? But as a whole, what do they desire? Conquest. They seek the Holy Land not in the name of God, but for themselves. What of Richard? Salah Eddin? Any who oppose the Templars will be destroyed. Be assured they have the means to accomplish it. Then they must be stopped. That is why we do our work, Altair. To ensure a future free of such things. Why did you hide the truth from me? That you might pierce the veil yourself. Like any task, knowledge precedes action. Information learned is more valuable than information given. Besides, your recent behavior had not inspired much confidence. I see. Altair, your mission has not changed. Merely the context within which you perceive it. And armed with this knowledge, I might better understand those Templars that remain. Is there anything else you want to know? What about the treasure Malik retrieved from Solomon's temple? Robert seemed desperate to have it back. In time, Altair, all will become clear. Just as the role of the Templars has revealed itself to you, so too will the nature of their treasure. For now, take comfort in the fact that it is not in their hands, but ours. If this is your desire. It is. You are restored another rank. Take back your weapon. Use it to bring honor to the Brotherhood. Altair, before you go... Yes? How did you know I wouldn't kill you? Truth be told, Master, I didn't. I took a leap of faith. Mm -hmm. 
Safety and peace, Malik. Word that the city was possessed of either. Why do you trouble me today? Al Mualim has marked Majduddin for death. What can you tell me about him? Salahuddin's absence has left the city without a proper leader, and Majduddin has appointed himself to play the part. Fear and intimidation get him what he wants. He has no true claim to the position. That ends today. You speak too readily. This is not some slaver we're discussing. He rules Jerusalem and is well protected because of it. I suggest you plan your attack carefully. Get to better know your prey. With your help, I will. Where would you have me begin my search? What's this? You're actually asking for my assistance instead of demanding it. I'm impressed. Be out with it. As you wish. Here's where I would look. First, to the southwest near the mosque. After that, head south of here. There are two locations that might interest you. The southernmost church is one, the other is in the streets, near a synagogue. Thank you for your help, Dai. Don't foul this, Altair. Did you see the order? He wants us to repair a stage for another execution. Today! It's the one at the western edge of Solomon's temple. I was on my way just now. So much death. Worried that our true leader might return and bring a measure of justice to this city. Yes, and not this mockery Mejdedin parades before us. How? How does something like this happen? Everyone appointed in Salah Hadin's stead is met with an untimely end. And now, the position falls to him. He, who was once nothing more than the Emir's scribe. How convenient. It would not surprise me to learn he was behind these accidents. Shh! If the guards hear us, we'll be taken for treason. Executed on the very platform we have to repair. Come. Let us return to work. Altair, I meant to meet a contact nearby, but the guards seem to have it in for me. Every time I leave here, I'm attacked and forced to flee. I'm simply not the fighter I once was. Would you be willing to see me safely to my destination? I won't dare spill blood in front of a holy place. In the chaos, I managed to grab this from one of the guards. Perhaps it'll be of use to you. Each day is a struggle to remain strong in our faith. But we are only human. We might falter, we might fail. Majduddin is here to see that even when this happens, we are returned to a proper course. Confess to him, and he will show mercy. But, should you try to run, to hide, you will be found and made to pay. There is no harm in naming them. Those among you who defy the law. We are nothing without our faith, without its rules and its direction. To defy it is to defy the one who leads us. Such behavior cannot be allowed. Enough! I still breathe, so you must desire more than just my life. What is it? You know Mejduddin well? Better than most. He seems a bit too righteous. Is the law really so important to him? What do you think? I think he hides something, and I think you'll tell me what it is. It's a veil. All of it. Men like me, we are meant to scare them, fill the people with fear. The ones he kills, not criminals, but dangerous all the same. Dangerous to who? His plans. Their plans. Yes, he speaks of others. Those he works with. Works for, perhaps. I am uncertain. They need the city, though. Controlling it is important to them. Why? You'll have to ask him yourself. Attend one of his executions. It's when he's most talkative, addressing the crowd, hands covered in blood. Then we are done. <laughs> What news, novice? I am not a novice. A man's skill is defined by his actions, not the markings on his robe. 
We can trade barbs or do Al Muallim's work. It's your decision. Then be out with it. Jerusalem's regent Mejduddin is holding a public execution not far from here. It's sure to be well guarded, but it's nothing I can't handle. I know what to do. And that is why you remain a novice in my eyes. You cannot know anything. Only suspect. You must expect to be wrong. To have overlooked something. Anticipate, Altair. How many times must I remind you of this? As you wish. Are we done? Not quite. There is one more thing. One of the men to be executed is a brother. One of us. Al Mulim wishes for him to be saved. Do not worry about the actual rescue. My men will take care of that. But you must ensure Majduddin does not take his life. I won't give him the chance. So I hope. Jerusalem, hear me well. I stand here today to deliver a warning. There are malcontents among you. They sow the seeds of discontent, hoping to lead you astray. Tell me, is this what you desire? To be mired in deceit and sin? To live your lives in fear? Then you wish to take action? Your devotion pleases me. This evil must be purged. Only then can we hope to be redeemed. This is not justice. You go right to the earth. Who do you take yourself for? And all of you stand idle, complicit in this crime. See how the evil of one man spreads to corrupt others? They sought to instill fear and doubt within you, but I will keep you safe! Here now are four filled with sin! The harlot, the thief, the gambler, the heretic. Let God's judgment be brought down upon them all! God, save you! Quickly! Your work here is finished. No, no, it had only just begun. Tell me, what's your part in all of this? Do you intend to defend yourself as the others have and explain away your evil deeds? The Brotherhood wanted the city. I wanted power. There was an opportunity. An opportunity to murder innocents. Not so innocent. Dissident voices cut deep as steel. They disrupt order. In this, I do agree with the Brotherhood. You kill people simply for believing differently than you. Of course not. I killed them because I could. Because it was fun. Do you know what it feels like to determine another man's fate? And did you see the way that people cheered? The way they feared me? I was like a god. You'd have done the same if you could. Such power. Once, perhaps. But then I learned what becomes of those who lift themselves above others. And what is that? Here, let me show you.
Jerusalem needs a new ruler. So I have heard. What's this? No words of wisdom for me? Surely I have failed in some spectacular fashion. You performed as an assassin should. No more, no less. That you expect praise for merely doing as told, however, troubles me. It seems everything I do troubles you. Reflect on that. But do so on your way back to Masyaf. Your work here is done. We done already? Get up. Whatever you say, Doc. I'm ending the session. I'll be right there. You're sure about this? Yes. No. Everything's Denver. I don't see how he could... Of course. I understand. You're in a lot of trouble, Mr. Miles. What's his problem? They're coming for you. Who's coming for me? Assassins. Hey, I had nothing to do with this. Sounds like they're mounting some kind of rescue attempt. Guess you're more important than you realized. Man, things just keep getting weirder and weirder around here. It was bound to happen. What do you mean? That little fight your ancestor started during the Third Crusade? It never ended. You're being held by Templars. Vidix a Templar? There's no way you could have known. They hide it so well. But to answer your question, Vidic works for them. We all do. Abstergo is their company. I thought Templars were old dudes with funny hats who sat around drinking beer and plotting world domination with, like, the lizard people. No. Except the part about world domination, I guess. Look, Desmond, it's complicated. Half the stuff they say about the Templars comes from crazy tinfoil hat-wearing nut jobs. The other half is misinformation intentionally produced by the Templars themselves. But they are the bad guys, right? If there's one thing I've learned since I started working here, it's that there's no such thing. It's all so relative. I guess the best way to explain it is, what they want is good, but the way they're going about it, it's bad. Really bad. What are they trying to do? Lucy? Yes? Miss Stillman, I need to speak with you. Get up here, now! On my way, Doctor. I'm sorry, Desmond, I have to go. You should turn in for the night. The answers to all of your questions are right in front of you. You just have to know where to look. Missed you this morning, Doc. Get in the Animus. I trust you're well rested? Ready for your remaining trials? I am, but I'd speak with you first. I have questions. Ask them. I'll do my best to answer. The Merchant King of Damas murdered the nobles who ruled his city. Mejdeddin in Jerusalem used fear to force his people into submission. I suspect William meant to murder Richard and hold Akka with his troops. These men were meant to aid their leaders. Instead, they chose to betray them. What I do not understand is why. Is the answer not obvious? The Templars desire control. Each man, as you've noted, wanted to claim their cities in the Templar name, that the Templars themselves might rule the Holy Land, and eventually beyond. But they cannot succeed in their mission. Why is that? Their plans depend upon the Templar treasure, the Peace of Eden. But we hold it now, and they cannot hope to achieve their goals without it. What is this treasure? It is temptation. It's just a piece of silver. Look at it. What am I supposed to see? This piece of silver cast out Adam and Eve. It turned staves into snakes, parted and closed the Red Sea. Eris used it to start the Trojan War, and with it a poor carpenter turned water into wine. It seems rather plain for all the power you claim it has. How does it work? 
He who holds it commands the hearts and minds of whoever looks upon it. Whoever tastes of it, as they say. Then Gagne's men? An experiment. Herbs used to simulate its effects, to be ready for when they held it. Talel supplied them. Tamir equipped them. They were preparing for something. But what? War. And the others, the men who ruled the cities, they meant to gather up their people, make them like Gagne's men. The perfect citizens, the perfect soldiers, a perfect world. Robert de Sable must never have this back. So long as he and his brothers live, they will try. Then they must be destroyed. Which is what I've had you doing. There are two more Templars who require your attention. One in Akka, known as Sibran. One in Damas, called Jubair. Visit with the Bureau leaders. They'll instruct you further. As you wish. Be quick about it. No doubt Robert de Sable is made nervous by our continued success. His remaining followers will do their best to expose you. They know you come, the man in the White Hood. They'll be looking for you. They won't find me. I'm but a blade in the crowd. Here, my gift to you, in gratitude for the good work you've done. It's the hero of Damas. Come in, stay a while, tell me all about your adventures. I'm afraid I don't have the time. I see. Too important for me now. It's not that. No, no, of course not. How may I serve you then? Al Muallam has asked I take the life of the one they call Jubair. Ah, Salahadin's chief scholar. Strange choice of target, in my opinion. But who are we to question the master's will? I'm sure he has his reasons. Then you're familiar with the man. He's been quite busy these past few days, organizing the scholars and sending them into the streets to preach. What do they speak of? Light and fire. Cleansing sins, apocalyptic nonsense, if you ask me. All this talk of paths and a new world. What about this new world? Couldn't say. I don't pay attention to the ramblings of madmen. Much too busy with real work. Very well. I'll walk among the people, see what I can learn. Where would you suggest I search? South of here, you'll find an academy and a guard tower. They're both good places to search. There's also a hospital to the east you might want to visit. I'll begin at once. So eager. You've certainly changed, and for the better, I might add. Bad news, brother. I killed a Templar this morning. Well, I suppose that's actually good news. I even found a letter on him which I gave to Namayir, who said he'd find you and deliver it. But from the look in your face, I suspect this hasn't happened. Go on, then. Don't waste any more time with me. Seek Namayir and get that letter. I'll do it. <laughs> I wish to see him, to hear him speak. It can be arranged, but we must be careful. There are still those who reject illumination. They would harm him. Then they are ignorant and afraid. You seem sincere, but how do I know I can trust you? It hurts me to even hear you ask the question. Very well. We gather each day in the madrasa. He comes to speak, and then leads us into the city, that we might cleanse it. Could I join you then? Understand that it is a difficult path we walk. Our work demands sacrifice. I understand. Then come and meet with us. Let us see how strong you really are. Altai! <laughs> You've done a good thing today, Altair. In exchange, I'll share my knowledge with you. Your target is likely to be dressed much like his followers. So here is how to distinguish him from the others. He wears rich golden robes and carries with him a large pouch. Find him, brother. Make him feel pain. What news, Altair? I've learned much about my enemy. Share what you know, then. Jubayer has become obsessed with purging the city of its knowledge. The most terrible crime. Now I see why Al-Mualim wants you to remove him. He's using the city scholars to assist him. 
They go out into the streets, harassing the people and collecting all their written works. I fear he intends to destroy them all. He must be stopped. That's why I'm here. He's to hold a meeting soon, at the Madrasa al Qalasa. It's where I'll go. It's where I'll take his life. Leave you alone to prepare. Bring glory to the Brotherhood. Every single text in this city must be destroyed. My friend, you must not do this. Much knowledge rests within these parchments, put there by our ancestors for good reason. And what reason is this? They are beacons, meant to guide us to save us from the darkness that is ignorance. No, these bits of paper are covered in lies. They poison your minds, and so long as they exist, you cannot hope to see the world the way it truly is. How can you accuse these scrolls of being weapons? They are tools of learning. You turn to them for answers and salvation. You rely more upon them than yourselves. This makes you weak and stupid. You trust in words, drops of ink. Do you ever stop to think of who put them there? Or why? No, you simply accept their words without question. And what if those words speak falsely, as they often do? This is dangerous. You are wrong. These texts give the gift of knowledge. We need them. You love your precious writings. You do anything for them? Yes. Uh. Yes, of course. Then join them! Any man who speaks as he is just as much a threat. Do any else among you wish to challenge me? Good. Your orders are simple enough. Go out into the city. Collect any remaining writings and add them to the piles in the streets. When you're done, we'll send a cart to collect them that they may be destroyed. be free to do what they believe. It is not our right to punish one for thinking what they do, no matter how much we disagree. Then what? You of all people should know the answer. Educate them. Teach them right from wrong. It must be knowledge that frees them, not force. They do not learn, fixed in their ways as they are. You are naive to think otherwise. It's an illness for which there is but one cure. You're wrong. And that's why you must be put to rest. Am I not unlike those precious books you seek to save? A source of knowledge with which you disagree, yet you are rather quick to steal my life. A small sacrifice to save many. It is necessary. Is it not ancient scrolls that inspire the Crusaders? That fill Salah Adin and his men with a sense of righteous fury? Their texts endanger others, bring death in their wake. I, too, was making a small sacrifice. It matters little now. Your deed is done. And so am I. Altair, tell me you've met with success. Yes. Jubayer's fires are extinguished. His life as well. Excellent news. I had no doubt you'd succeed. You should have seen it. The scholars followed him so readily. It wasn't just books they fed to fire either, but any man who opposed them. Such ignorance breeds only evil. You've done a good thing this day. As with my other targets, he believed he was doing the right thing, clearing a path to a better future. Of course he would. Such is the landscape of a madman's mind. The things I've seen these past few weeks, it's as if all the land has gone mad. And this is why we fight to end the war, that sanity might return. The people are desperate for direction. It's easy for men like Jubayer to prey on this and turn them towards evil. 
You should go, Altair. Return to Al Mualim. Tell him what you saw. Let him know the good you've done this day. Safety and peace, Rafi. Upon you as well. Welcome home, child. What news? Another of the named is put to rest. Then it would appear your work is nearly complete and your status restored. A question, Master, if I may. Ask, and I will answer. Why these men, Jubayer and Sabrand? Ah, don't you see? They paved the way for change. Ensure threats both old and new are not given cause to intervene. To weaken them is to weaken our enemy. I suppose that makes sense. Were these men to continue their work, our work would quickly be undone. How is that? We've caused them much grief. We strike at the arms, yes. But this is a hydra that you face, and it is quick to replace that which is severed. Then we should lop off its head and be done with this. Soon, soon. We are close. Only one more man stands between us and our ultimate goal. I will return to my work. The sooner this last man dies, the sooner I might face our true enemy. Before you go, I have a question for you. Of course. What is the truth? We place faith in ourselves. We see the world the way it really is, and hope that one day all mankind might see the same. What is the world, then? An illusion. One which we can either submit to, as most do, or transcend. What is it to transcend? To recognize nothing is true and everything is permitted. That laws arise not from divinity but reason. I understand now that our creed does not command us to be free. It commands us to be wise. Do you see now why the Templars are a threat? Whereas we would dispel the illusion, they would use it to rule. Yes. To reshape the world in an image more pleasing to them. That is why I sent you to steal their treasure. That is why I keep it locked away. And that is why you kill them. So long as even one survives, so too does their desire to create a new world order. Take your equipment. Seek out this last man. With his death, Robert de Sable will at last be vulnerable. It will be done. Safety and peace upon you, Altair. Greetings, Altair. What news? Al Muallim has named another. Calls himself Sabrand. I am familiar with the man. Newly appointed leader of the Knights Teutonic, he resides in the Venetian Quarter and runs Akka's port. I'll start my work at once. Here are the places where you should focus your search. On the docks east of here, among the ships and their crews. At the chapel to the northeast, near the cross overlooking the port. And to the north, in front of St. John's Gate. This is most helpful. My thanks for the guidance. Altair. Yes, Rafi. I owe you an apology. For what? For doubting your dedication to our cause. No. It was I who erred. I believe myself above the creed. You owe me nothing. As you wish, my friend. Go in safety. I hear you're looking for information on Sibran. Karm's found something you'd probably find useful. Best track him down if you want it. Safety and peace, brother. I've been looking everywhere for you. I stole this letter earlier today. Read it over. Hopefully it'll be a use. By order of Sibrand, all merchant vessels must be turned over to the Teutonic Order. Clear out your cargo. Ship deeds must be presented to the court of the chain by midday tomorrow. No exceptions, no delays. All dock vessels must be cleared of crew and cargo. Captains are to present themselves to a representative from the Teutonic Order for reassignment. Any attempt to maintain possession of a claimed vessel will be punished severely. And this is too. It's not my fault. I'm only following orders. If you want your ship back, speak with the court. That's not what I'm after. Then what? Sabran's claimed near a hundred ships. For what purpose? A blockade. 
uh, to sail for open water and establish a perimeter. For what? Does Salah ad din intend to strike from sea? No, it's not he we defend against, but ships from home to deny Richard more troops. Why would one of Richard's own want to see him weakened in this way? I don't know. Ask Sibran. They're his orders. I'm just meant to carry them out. Now, please, let me go. I've told you all I know. I'm sorry. I cannot risk you telling him I'm here. <laughs> you into the city, or did you fight your way in? Ah, oh, perhaps I should be more respectful, as I myself now require your help. I spent too much time in the harbor brothel last night, and insulted a Teutonic knight's wife, or so I am told. Now there is a group of them after me. Could you give me a hand or a blade? If you return before I leave the city, I will give you the benefit of my wisdom. <laughs> Lucky man, you are alive, and I am still an Akka. Here is what I have to tell you. The only thing more dangerous than a drunken sailor is one who is also angry. I know it does not seem like much, but with your wisdom, I am sure it will help. Greetings, brother. How fares your search? I've learned all there is to know about my target. Share your knowledge with me, then. Sabrand is said to be consumed by fear driven mad by the knowledge that his death approaches. He has sealed the docks district, and now hides within waiting for his ship to arrive. This will make things dangerous. I wonder how it is he learned of your mission. The men I've killed, they are all connected. Al Muallam warned me that word of my deeds has spread among them. Be on your guard, Altair. Of course, Rafiq. But I think it will be to my advantage. Fear will weaken him. You are mistaken, Master Sibrand. I would never propose violence against any man, and most certainly not against you. So you say. And yet no one here will vouch for you. What am I to make of this? I, I live a simple life, my lord, as do all men of the cloth. It is not for us to call attention to ourselves. Perhaps. Or perhaps they do not know you because you are not a man of God, but an assassin! Never! You wear the same hopes. If they cover themselves as we do, it is only to instill uncertainty and fear. You must not give in. Are you calling me a coward? Challenging my authority? Are you perhaps... Hoping to turn my own knights against me? No, 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 no. I, I don't understand why, why you're doing this to me. I've done nothing wrong. <laughs> I don't recall accusing you of any wrongdoing, which makes your outburst rather odd. Is it the presence of guilt that compels a confession? But I confess nothing. Ah, defiant to the very end. What do you mean? William and Garnier were too confident, and they paid for this with their lives. I won't make the same mistake. If you truly are a man of God, then truly the Creator will provide for you! Let him stay my hand! You've gone mad! Will none of you come forward to stop this? He is clearly poisoned by his own fear, compelled to see enemies where none exist. Seems the people share my concern. What I do, I do for Acre! Oh! Hey, vigilant men, report any suspicious activity to the guard. I doubt we've seen the last of these assassins. Persistent bastards! Now get back to work. Oh, you gave up, 
Afraid. Of course I am afraid. But you'll be safe now, held in the arms of your god. Have my brothers taught you nothing? I know what waits for me. For all of us. If not your god, then what? Nothing. Nothing waits. And that is what I fear. You don't believe. How could I, given what I know? What I've seen? Our treasure was the proof. Proof of what? That this life is all we have. Linger a while longer then, and tell me of the part you were to play. A blockade by sea. To keep the fool kings and queens from sending reinforcements. Once we... Once we... Conquered the Holy Land? Freed it, you fool. From the tyranny of faith. Freedom? You worked to overthrow cities, control men's minds murdered any who spoke against you. I followed my orders, believing in my cause. Same as you. Altair, you've caused quite a stir. I've done as requested. Sabran's life has ended. So it is, so it is. You should ride for Masiaf and inform Al Muallim of your success. Yes. I should return and speak to him, of this and other things. Is everything all right, my friend? You seem distant. It's nothing, Rafiq. Just a lot on my mind. Talk to me, then. Let me help. I need to make sense of this myself first. But thank you for the offer. It is the men you kill, isn't it? You feel something for them. How? Ah, my friend. You are not meant to enjoy these grim tasks. Regret, uncertainty, sympathy. This is to be expected. I should not fear these feelings. You should embrace them. They are what keep you human. What if I'm wrong? What if these men are not meant to die? What if they mean well? Misguided, perhaps, but pure in motive. I am but a Rafiq, Altair, and such things are beyond me. Perhaps Al Mualim can help you to make sense of it. Yes, perhaps. Thank you, Rafiq. It is my pleasure to have served with one as skilled as you. taken care of. I want that progress report by tomorrow morning. I've got some work I need to do. So you've got the rest of the night to yourself. Time's wasting, Mr. Miles. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. We're nearly done, you know. And then what? You'll see. Maybe they'll even let you watch when it begins. It's not as terrible as you think. Look, I know you're not gonna let me leave. So why not tell me what's going on? Humor me. I'm not an idiot, Mr. Miles. I think you've already learned quite a bit. I don't know what you're talking about. Of course not. All right, let me ask you something else then. Yes? Some of the stuff I'm seeing in the Animus, sometimes it seems wrong. Untrue, like the history is off somehow. It doesn't... It doesn't what, Mr. Miles? Match up with what you read on an online encyclopedia? What your high school history teacher taught you? Let me ask you something. Do these supposed experts have access to secret knowledge kept hidden from the rest of us? There are books. Letters, documents, all sorts of source material from back then. Some of it seems to contradict what the Animus is showing me. Anyone can write a book, and they can put whatever they want on its pages. Anything. <laughs> Used to be we thought the world was flat. Some people still do. Yes, and they publish books about it. 
Or that the moon landing was a hoax? I believe there's also a book claims the world was created in seven days. A bestseller, too. Where's this going, Doc? The point, I suppose, is that you shouldn't trust everything you hear, everything you read. What's that your ancestors said? Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. Yes, exactly. It's part of what makes the Animus so spectacular. There's no room for misinterpretation. There's always room. Touché, Mr. Miles. Now that I've answered your question, can we begin? Read, my student. We have much to discuss. We are close, Altair. Robert de Sable is now all that stands between us and victory. It is his mouth gives the orders. His hand pays the gold. With him dies the knowledge of the Templar treasure and any threat it might pose. I still don't understand how a simple bit of treasure could cause so much chaos. The peace of Eden is temptation given form. Merely look at what it's done to Robert. Once he tasted of its power, the thing consumed him. He saw not a dangerous weapon to be destroyed, but a tool. One that would help him realize his life's ambition. He dreamed of power then? Yes and no. He dreamed, and still dreams, like us, of peace. But this is a man who sought to see the Holy Land consumed by war. No, Altair. How can you not see when you're the one that opened my eyes to this? What do you mean? What do he and his followers want? A world in which all men are united. I do not despise his goal. I share it. But I take issue with the means. Peace is something to be learned, to be understood, to be embraced. He would force it. And rob us of our free will in the process. Strange to think of him in this way. Never harbor hate for your victims, Altair. Such thoughts are poison and will cloud your judgment. Could he not be convinced then to end his mad quest? I spoke to him in my way through you. What was each killing if not a message? But he has chosen to ignore us. Then there's only one thing left to do. Jerusalem is where you faced him first. It's where you'll find him now. Let this final offering lend you strength. Go, Altair. It's time to finish this. Safety and peace, Altair. Upon you as well, brother. Seems fate has a funny way with things. So it's true then. Robert de Sable is in Jerusalem. I've seen the knights myself. Only misfortune follows that man. If he's here, it's because he intends ill. I won't give him the chance to act. Do not let vengeance cloud your thoughts, brother. We both know no good can come of that. I have not forgotten. You have nothing to fear. I do not seek revenge, but knowledge. Truly, you are not the man I once knew. My work has taught me many things, revealed secrets to me. But there are still pieces of this puzzle I do not possess. What do you mean? All the men I've laid to rest have worked together, united by this man. Robert has designs upon the land. This much I know for certain. But how and why, when and where, these things remain out of reach. Crusaders and Saracens working together? They are none of these things, but something else. Templars. The Templars are a part of the Crusader army. Or so they'd like King Richard to believe. No, their only allegiance is to Robert de Sable and some mad idea that they will stop the war. You spin a strange day. You have no idea, Malik. But tell me where they've been seen. I should be after him before he slips away. Three places I can say for certain. West of here, near both a guard tower and a hospital. And to the southwest, at the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. See what you can learn. I will do the same. I'll be quick as I can. Stay safe, my friend. Safety and peace, Master. 
Have you seen all the vile Templars in town? I have been ordered to kill as many as I can before the burial of your latest victim, Mudged Udin. I am sure if it were your mission, it would be done in no time. I have learned much while looking for those Templars. I will share valuable information with you when you get back. <laughs> I know now why I joined our clan. Just to be in your presence is a gift from God. This is what I have learned about Robert's men. They are well prepared for battle. To fight them all at once would be unwise. Better to let them chase you for a while before striking back. But it is disrespectful for me to tell a master how he should behave in combat. Forgive me, master. Spill the blood of those we once called friends. We have all suffered because of this. But now, now we are offered a chance at redemption. A chance to begin anew. Let us make peace with the Crusaders. Let us live as one. We must be strong, we must be brave, and we must find the courage to face those we once called our enemies and now instead call them friends. The Crusaders come to Jerusalem, bringing with them an opportunity to end the fighting, to stop the war. That we may stand as one, we must not turn them away. Ah. Is it a fight you want? <laughs> you speak of peace, but your words are hollow. No, I speak the truth. Why would you say other? You're a Templar. So I am. Then you are also a liar and a fraud, just like your master. Where is he? What does he intend? It's peace he seeks, I swear it. And the proof is in his actions. A Christian at a Muslim's funeral. We want an end to all of this. Only because it serves your needs. This is a noble thing we want. The land will be united beneath our banner. United through force. You'd enslave us all. It is for the best. No, it's not. And so long as my brothers and I breathe, you will not succeed. I'll tell you, my friend. You must help me. Malik has tasked me with killing several archers posted in the region, so that our brothers might move around more easily. Normally, it wouldn't be a problem, but this funeral has everyone on edge. The city guard has dispatched its best men to keep the peace, and I simply don't have the skill to remove them. I'd ask two favors of you, then. First, to kill the bowmen, and second, do not tell Malik of my failure. In exchange, I'll see what I can learn of Robert's plans. I'm forever grateful for your aid. Malik would never have forgiven me. Here's what I've learned. For a man such as myself, a direct assault in the cemetery would be impossible. There's simply too many guards. Instead, I look to blend in with the scholars who are sure to be in attendance. It may not be the most direct approach, but it's certainly safer. You've the scent of success about you, brother. I've learned much about our enemy. Share your knowledge, then. Let us see what can be done with it. Robert and his Templars walk the city. They've come to pay their respects to Mejduddin. They'll attend his funeral, which means so will I. What is this that Templars would attend his funeral? I have yet to divine their true intentions, though I'll have a confession in time. The citizens themselves are divided. Many call for their lives. Still others insist that they are here to parley, to make peace. Peace? I told you. The others I've slain have said as much to me. That would make them our allies. And yet we killed them. Make no mistake. We are nothing like these men. Though their goal sounds noble, the means by which they'd achieve it are not. At least, that's what Al-Mu'allam told me. So what is your plan? I'll attend the funeral and confront Robert. The sooner the better. Fortune favor your blade, brother. Malik, before I go, there's something I should say. Be out with it. I've been a fool. Normally I'd make no argument, but what is this? What are you talking about? All this time, I never told you I was sorry. Too damn proud. You lost your arm because of me. Lost Qadr. You had every right to be angry. I do not accept your apology. I understand. 
No, you don't. I do not accept your apology because you are not the same man who went with me into Solomon's temple. And so you have nothing to apologize for. Malik. Perhaps if I had not been so envious of you, I would not have been so careless myself. I'm just as much to blame. Don't say such things. We are one. As we share the glory of our victories, so too should we share the pain of our defeat. In this way, we grow closer. We grow stronger. Thank you, brother. Rest if you need to, Altair, that you might be ready for what lies ahead. gather here to mourn the loss of our beloved Majdiddin. Taken too soon from this world, I know you feel sorrow and pain at his passing, but you should not. For just as we are all brought forth from the womb, so too must we all one day pass from this world. It is only natural, like the rising and the setting of the sun. Take this moment to reflect on his life and give thanks for all the good he did. Know that one day you will stand with him again in paradise. As you know, this man was murdered. We have tried to track his killer, but it has proved difficult. These creatures cling to the shadows and run from any who would face them fairly. But not today, for it seems one stands among us. He mocks us with his presence and must be made to pay. Seize him! Bring him forward that God's justice might be done! I would see your eyes before you die. I sense you expected someone else. What sorcery is this? No sorcery. We knew you'd come. Robert needed to be sure he'd have time to get away. So he flees. We cannot deny your success. You have laid waste to our plans. First the treasure, then our men. Control of the Holy Land slipped away. But then he saw an opportunity to reclaim what has been stolen, to turn your victories to our advantage. Al-Muallim still holds your treasure, and we've routed your army before. Whatever Robert plans, he'll fail again. Ah, but it's not just Templars you'll contend with now. Speak sense. Robert rides for Arsa to plead his case that Saracen and Crusader unite against the Assassins. That will never happen. They have no reason to. Had, perhaps. But now you've given them one. Nine, in fact. The bodies you've left behind, victims on both sides. You've made the Assassins an enemy in common and ensured the annihilation of your entire order. Well done. Not nine. Eight. What do you mean? You were not my target. I will not take your life. You're free to go, but do not follow me. I don't need to. You're already too late. We'll see. It's a trap. I had heard the funeral turned to chaos. What happened? Robert de Sable was never here. He sent another in his stead. He was expecting me. You must go to Al Mualim. There's no time. She told me where he's gone, what he plans. If I return to Masyaf, he might succeed. And then, I fear we'll be destroyed. We have killed most of his men. 
He cannot hope to mount a proper attack. Wait, did you say she? Yes, it was a woman. Strange, I know. But that's for another time. For now, we must focus on Robert. We may have thinned his ranks, but the man is clever. He goes to plead his case to Richard and Salah Hadin, to unite them against the common enemy. Against us. Surely you are mistaken. This makes no sense. These two men would never... Oh, but they would. And we have ourselves to blame. The men I've killed. Men on both sides of the conflict. Men important to both leaders. Robert's plan may be ambitious, but it makes sense. And it could work. Look, brother. Things have changed. You must return to Masyaf. We cannot act without our master's permission. It could compromise the Brotherhood. I thought... I thought you had learned this. Stop hiding behind words, Malik. You wield the Creed and its tenants like some shield. He's keeping things from us. Important things. You were the one told me we could never know anything, only suspect. Well, I suspect this business with the Templars goes deeper. When I'm done with Robert, I will write for Masyaf that we may have answers. But perhaps you could go now. I cannot leave the city. Then walk amongst its people. Seek out those who served the ones I slew. Learn what you can. You call yourself perceptive. Perhaps you'll see something I could not. I don't know. I must think on this. Do as you must, my friend. But it's time I ride for Arsuf. Every moment I delay, our enemy gets one step ahead of me. Be careful, brother. I will be. I promise. I bring, not steal. Offering terms of surrender then? It's about time. You misunderstand. It's Al Mualim who sends me, not Salah al -Din. Assassin! What is the meaning of this? And be quick with it! You've a traitor in your midst. And he has hired you to kill me? Come to gloat about it before you strike? I wouldn't be taken so easily! It's not you I've come to kill. It's him. Speak then! That I may judge the truth! Who is this traitor? Robert de Sable. My lieutenant! <laughs> he aims to betray. That's not the way he tells it. He seeks revenge against your people for the havoc you've wrought in Arkham. And I am inclined to support him. Some of my best men were murdered by some of yours. It was I who killed them, and for good reason. Hear me out. William of Montferrat. He sought to use his soldiers to take Akka by force. Gagné de plus. He would use his skills to indoctrinate and control any who resisted. Sabran. He intended to block the ports, preventing your kingdom from providing aid. They betrayed you, and they took their orders from Robert. You expect me to believe this outlandish tale? You knew these men, better than I. Are you truly surprised to learn of their ill intentions? Is this true? My liege, it is an assassin that stands before us. These creatures are masters of manipulation. Of course it isn't true. I've no reason to deceive. Oh, but you do. You're afraid of what will happen to your little fortress. 
Can it withstand the combined might of the Saracen and the Crusader army? My concern is for the people of the Holy Land. If I must sacrifice myself for there to be peace, so be it. This is a strange place we find ourselves in. Each of you accusing the other. There really is no time for this. I must be off to meet with Saladin and enlist his aid. The longer we delay, the harder this will become. Hold a moment, Robert. Why? What do you intend? Surely you do not believe him? It is a difficult decision, one I cannot make alone. I must leave it in the hands of one wiser than I. Thank you. No, Robert, not you. Then who? The Lord. Let this be decided by combat. Surely God will side with the one whose cause is righteous. If this is what you wish. It is. So be it. Two arms, assassin! Assassin! <laughs> 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 It's done then. Your schemes, like you, are put to rest. <laughs> you know nothing of schemes. You're but a puppet. He betrayed you, boy. Just as he betrayed me. Speak sense, Templar. Or not at all. Nine men he sent you to kill, yes? The nine who guarded the treasure's secret. What of it? It wasn't nine who found the treasure, assassin. Not nine, but ten. A tenth? None may live who carry the secret. Give me his name. Oh, but you know him well. And I doubt very much you'd take his life as willingly as you've taken mine. Who? It is your master, Al Mualem. But he is not a Templar. Did you never wonder how it is he knew so much? Where to find us, how many we numbered, what we aspired to attain? He is the master of the assassins. We, oui. master of lies. You and I just two more pawns in his grand game. And now, with my death, only you remain. Do you think he'll let you live, knowing what you do? I've no interest in the treasure. Ah, but he does. The only difference between your master and I is that he did not want to share. No. Ironic, isn't it? That I, your greatest enemy, kept you safe from harm. But now you've taken my life, and in the process, ended your own. Seems God favors your cause this day. God had nothing to do with it. I was a better fighter. Ah, uh, you may not believe in him, but it seems he believes in you. Before you go, I have a question. Ask it then. Why? Why travel all this way? Risk your life a thousand times, all to kill a single man. He threatened my brothers and what we stand for. Ah, vengeance then. No, not vengeance. Justice, that there might be peace. This is what you fight for? Peace? Do you see the contradiction? Some men cannot be reasoned. Like that madman, Saladin. I think he'd like to see an end to this war as much as you. So I've heard, but never seen. Even if he doesn't say it, it's what the people want. Saracen and Crusader alike. The people know not what they want. It's why they turn to men like us. Then it falls to men like you to do what is right. Nonsense. We come into the world kicking and screaming. Violent and unstable. It is what we are. We cannot help ourselves. No. We are what we choose to be. <laughs> Your kind. Always playing with words. I speak the truth. There's no trick to be found here. We'll know soon enough. 
But I fear you cannot have what you desire this day. Even now, that heathen Saladin cuts through my men and I must attend to them. But perhaps, having seen how vulnerable he is, he will reconsider his actions. Yes, in time what you seek may be possible. You were no more secure than him. Do not forget that. The men you left behind to rule in your stead did not intend to serve you for longer than they had yes. to. Yes. I am well aware. And I'll take my leave. My master and I have much to discuss. It seems that even he is not without fault. He is only human, as are we all. You as well. Safety and peace be upon you. I said get up, goddammit! Listen! Oh no. Seems your assassin friends found us. What? How'd you do it, Desmond? Hey, hey, look, I don't know what you're talking about, but whatever's going on down there has got nothing to do with me. They're here for you, and I sure as shit didn't invite them. What's the situation down there? We're taking heavy fire. Can you contain it, or do I need to evacuate the prisoner? Only five or six. We've got them outnumbered. A couple of wounded, but we'll pull through. We'll get it under control. God damn you, Desmond. You couldn't leave well enough alone. I told you I had nothing to do with this. How would I even contact them? Telepathy? Come on! Doesn't matter. They'll be dead soon enough. Here, have a listen. That's been neutralized. Looks like the cavalry won't be coming. Dunno, Doc. We're freaking out a minute ago. Your little research facility not as secure as you thought it was? Worried they'll be back with more? I don't think so, Desmond. What Lucy here is trying to say is that there aren't any assassins left to come for you. We've been very busy this past year, hunting down your little enclaves, your desert communes and whatnot. I'm afraid you're on your own. Rest up, Mr. Miles. Tomorrow, we finish this. Get up! Even earlier than usual, Doc. I'd like to get this over with as quickly as possible. If you say so. Don't be so glum, Mr. Miles. Today is a historic day. One that will be remembered for years to come. Remembered by some of us, anyway. Where is everyone? Gone to see the Master. Was it the Templars? Did they attack again? They walk the path. What path? What are you talking about? Towards the light. Speak sense. There is only what the Master shows us. This is the truth. You've lost your mind. You too will walk the path, or you will perish. So the Master commands. It was Al Mualim, wasn't it? What's he done to you? Praise be to the Master, for he has led us to the light. Seems. Guard yourself well, friend. Al Mualim has betrayed us. Yes. Betrayed his Templar allies as well. How do you know? After we spoke, I returned to the ruins beneath Solomon's temple. Robert had kept a journal, filled its pages with revelations. What I read there broke my heart. But it also opened my eyes. You were right, Altair. 
All along, our master has used us. We were not meant to save the Holy Land, but deliver it to him. He must be stopped. Be careful, Malik. What he's done to the others, he'll do to us given the chance. You must stay far from him. What would you propose? My blade arm is still strong and my men remain my own. It would be a mistake not to use us. Distract these thralls then. Assault the fortress from behind. If you can draw their attention away from me, I might reach Al Muallam. I will do as you ask, Dai. The men we face, their minds are not their own. If you can avoid killing them. Yes. Though he has betrayed the tenets of the Creed, it does not mean we must as well. I'll do what I can. It's all I ask. Safety and peace, my friend. Your presence here will deliver us both. No! What's happening? So, the student returns. I've never been one to run. Never been one to listen, either. I still live because of it. What will I do with you? Let me go. Oh, Altair. I hear the hatred in your voice. Feel its heat. Let you go? Well, that would be unwise. Why are you doing this? I found proof. Proof of what? That nothing is true. And everything is permitted. Come. Destroy the betrayer. Send him from this world. Face me, or are you afraid? I have stood before a thousand men, all of them superior to you, and all of them dead, by my hand. I am not afraid. Prove it. What could I possibly fear? Look at the power I command. Goal foul when all along it was yours as well. I've never been much good at sharing. You won't succeed. Others will find the strength to stand against you. And this is why, so long as men maintain free will, there can be no peace. I killed the last man who spoke as such. Bold words, boy. But just words. Then let me go. I'll put words into action. <laughs> Tell me, Master, why did you not make me like the other assassins? Why allow me to retain my mind? Who you are and what you do are twined too tight together. To rob you of one would have deprived me of the other. And those Templars had to die. <sighs> but the truth is, I did try. In my study, when I showed you the treasure, but you are not like the others. You saw through the illusion. Illusion? That's all it's ever done. This Templar treasure, this piece of Eden, this word of God. Do you understand now? Red Sea was never parted. Water never turned to wine. It was not the machinations of Iris that spawned the Trojan War, but this! Illusions! All of them! What you plan is no less an illusion, to force men to follow you against their will. Is it any less real than the phantoms the Saracens and Crusaders follow now? Those craven gods who retreat from this world that men might slaughter one another in their names? They live amongst an illusion already. I'm simply giving them another, one that demands less blood. At least they choose these phantoms. Or do they? Aside from the occasional convert or heretic? 
It isn't right. Ah, and now logic has left you. In its place, you embrace emotion. I am disappointed. What's to be done, then? You will not follow me, and I cannot compel you. And you refuse to give up this evil scheme. It seems, then, we are at an impasse. No, we are at an end. I will miss you, Altair. You were my very best student. is all you've ever been. All you'll ever be. My place is for me, Amor. It cuts to the dark. Impossible. The student does not defeat the teacher. So it seems. You have won then. Go and claim your prize. You held fire in your hand, old man. It should have been destroyed. Destroy the only thing capable of ending the Crusades and creating true peace? Never. Then I will. We'll see about that. I applied my heart to know wisdom, and to know madness and folly. I perceived that this also was a chasing after wind, for in much wisdom is much grief. And he that increaseth knowledge, increaseth sorrow. Destroy it! Destroy it, as you said you would. I... I can't. Yes, you can, Altair. But you won't. We've got it. that well we've got the map how many at least half a dozen we don't need them all we should assume some amount of decay I can't imagine they'll all still be functioning at least two appear to reside on land masses that no longer exist we'll dispatch teams to each site and determine viability we only need one after all what about the rest collect them let's not leave anything to chance Last thing we need is some damn survivor making trouble for us in the new world. And the assassin? We have what we need. Kill him. Wait. You know how these things work. I doubt we'll be able to walk right in. What's your point? We might need him. His memories. I'd recommend we hold him until we have confirmation that there aren't any surprises waiting for us at the sites. This is a waste of time. You said it yourself. We shouldn't leave anything to chance. Very well. Ensure we have no further need of him, then kill him. Fine. Stop undermining my authority! I just saved your ass. Let's go. We've got a lot of work to do. Don't get too comfortable, Mr. Miles. We'll be back for you soon enough. What the hell is that? Keeping here before me. What happened to him? What does it mean, I wonder? <laughs> 